What's up guys, Roberto Rosas, welcoming you back to the Gourmet YouTube channel. This week, it's all about showering and golf swing on the way down. Now, if you're like me, you probably struggled at one point or another with being a little bit too steep on the way down, which creates all sorts of issues in the golf swing. So in this video, we're going to introduce the concept of showering, the pitch on the way down, and what are the benefits of putting this in your golf swing. So take a look. I'm gonna take my setup and we're gonna to go to the top of the backswing. So let's first kind of briefly just reiterate and go over, make sure you guys understand when I say shallow downswing, what I'm talking about. And uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm talking specifically about the plane that the club is on. So this club here, if you were to kind of draw a line through it, is on a given plane or angle. And when I say shallow, I'm saying the club is gonna go on to a lower um, or more shallow angle, more horizontal. This would be a steeper angle, more vertical. So why would we want to shallow the shaft? The idea behind this would be the guys who hit a slice shot on their downswing, this shaft would be in a very vertical position, the club head overtaking the hands and getting the club traveling what we call out to in through impact. So the idea in this exercise or feeling or concept I'm going to give you is that we're going to allow the club to shallow its pitch as it comes down to allow you then to execute the, the ball with either an into square to in path or an in-to-out path. So a path that's heading more to the right, essentially, compared to a path that would be heading more to the left. That indeed will help you hit straight shots or draw shots or move the ball right to left and get rid of the left to right shot. And that's trying to get you to have a slightly shallower angle of attack as you move through the golf ball. Now, one of the reasons uh, you want to do this is if you're hitting down too steeply, you'll be tending to come from the outside of the target line. So the club head will be cutting across the target line rather than swinging down towards the target directly. So that's going to make directional control uh, more challenging for you. So if we can get you uh, shallowing uh, your angle of attack through the ball, it will get you hitting the ball a lot straighter or even into more of a draw because uh, you'll be hitting more directly down the target line or slightly from the inside and you'll have more control over the club face. As I shallow my downswing and when we track that sort of before and after on track man, we notice increases in club head speed. So you hit the ball farther, everyone likes that. We notice an increase in ability to square the club face, easier to square the club face, we like that. Uh, we notice an increase in how high you hit the ball, so everyone likes to hit the ball higher. Easier to find the middle of the club face for solid contact, less likely to hit toe or heel. I mean, all of these things are great things. You're gonna hit the ball higher, farther, better. So I think everyone likes that. The sort of sciencey part around it is when during the downswing, if I can get that club head on this angle, on the shaft lower, and get the club head more behind me, there's gonna be an effect of that club wanting to seek 90 degrees. This club head's gonna wanna line up. If I, during my downswing, get the club on the other side of my hands, where it gets steep, or the club head's outside my hands, I lose all of that benefit of that sort of free squaring of the club face, the free speed I get at the bottom. So what we're talking about is increasing the depth in our downswing. So the golf club has a center of mass and we have a center of mass. And if we can get the golf club's center of mass to go deeper behind us, further behind our center of mass, we can create more speed through an increased pivot rotation. Now that might sound all very technical, but all we're really talking about here is in the downswing, trying to get the golf club to feel like it drops a little bit further behind your body, so further behind your heels. So from there, to get that club to the ball, we've got to increase our rotational rates. We've got to speed up our pivot. And that means more distance because the club is actually having to travel further. And I'll simply demonstrate that. If I got to the top of the backswing and the golf club came down more in front of me here, it's getting to this position sooner than it would do if the golf club actually was traveling this way first before coming back into the ball. So if we can send the golf club on a longer route on our downswing, we've got more time to increase that speed. So while that was a pretty decent shot down the middle, you know, 100, 104 miles an hour swing speed, that attack angle was 7.2 degrees downward. So the resulting carry was 228 yards of carry, which isn't bad, don't get me wrong. 
and the total yardage was 254 yards. So that shot while playable is not near optimized. So let me hit a shot, same speed, same guy, and let's play around here with the tack angle. So this is a big difference, and I really didn't even hit that that solid. So that attack angle went from hitting down seven to hitting up 1.8 degrees. That carried 240 and went 262. So that's a huge difference in carry and in total yardage. Now, if you found this or any of our other videos helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like below, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss a video from this.